welcome, Mr. Baker. Good afternoon, Mr. Mayor and City Council members. I want to first of all just thank you all, the City Council, for the direction that we're going. I'm a member of the community and I'm very happy about that. My goal tonight, though, regarding my remarks, is to spark the conversation around increasing awareness around this particular issue, cell phone and wireless technology. Who am I and why should you listen to me? My family's been in this community over 117 years. I'm a 35-year veteran in technology. The work that I've done over the last 25 years has worked with hundreds of schools throughout the state of California. We've touched over 30 million people with the media coverage and we lifted about 30,000 people out of the digital divide. What I'm, about to, what I'm about to say should not only be, should only be interpreted rather, as this community getting more information specifically for their children and their parents around the effects of cell phone and wireless technology. Cell phone and radiation wireless technology has affected my immediate family and circle of friends. Sylvia Bear and Antonio had the following in common. They were all heavy cell phone users, and they all got brain tumors with Bear and Antonio succumbing to cancer. Brain cancer, as you know, <coughs> used to be extremely rare. Now almost all of us in this room know someone who has had a tumor. Now these three were adults, but what is the effect to our children? What has the cell phone em emission of radiation do, what does it do to a six-year-old child? In 2008, Congressman Kucinich held a congressional hearing that demonstrated that radiation, when a child holds the phone next to his head, emits through half of that child's brain. How could this be, you may ask, right? The government should be protecting us. Cell phone providers or the industry will regulate themselves to ensure that consumers will be safe, right? No on both accounts. The Chicago Tribune sponsored and wrote about a study in 2019, just last year, that said most of us are getting five to seven times the amount of radiation that's standard, that's set by the FCC. The manual says that we shouldn't hold the phone next to our ear. All of us do anyway. There's a federal communications law that was set in 1996 which has, has absolutely no relation to the technology that's in play today. It's 24 year old law. So it's incumbent upon us to do something about that. And as such, I have uh, a talk that I'm going to be doing February 8th at 12 p.m. at Café Con Libros this Saturday at 12 o'clock that I would like to invite you and all the city council members to attend where I'm going to be taking a deep dive onto what are the issues, what are the facts, and how we can keep our children safe while utilizing this extremely valuable tool. Thank you very much. <laughs> 